Welcome to Think Tech on Spectrum OC16, Hawaii's weekly newscast on things that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm Emmy Anderson. And I'm Anna Jimenez McMillan. In our show this time, we'll visit the 2019 SBA Awards and Editor's Choice Awards Ceremony at the Hawaii Prince Hotel on May 3rd. It was called Big Awards and Small Biz, where 32 awards were presented honoring top businesses, lenders, entrepreneurs, and advocates from around the state. This program is presented annually by the Small Business Administration and Hawaii Business Magazine. It is Hawaii's largest small business awards program. The ballroom at the Prince Hotel was filled with well-wishers who made it clear in their enthusiasm how much they appreciated the efforts of the businesses receiving these coveted awards. We were particularly interested in the program because ThinkTech Hawaii was honored to receive one of the awards presented. The SBA Award for Small Business Advocate for Media and Journalism. It was great to be there and greater yet to receive the recognition for such an important community award. In all, 32 awards were presented to recipients from across the islands. The SBA Hawaii Small Business Awards included the Small Business Person of the Year, the Entrepreneur Success of the Year, the SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year, the SBA Family Owned Business of the Year, the Small Business Exporter of the Year, the Small Business Advocate Business and Industry, the Small Business Advocate Women in Business, the Small Business Advocate for Veteran Small Business, the Small Business Advocate for Minority Small Business, the Small Business Advocate for Innovation, the Small Business Advocate for Media and Journalism, that's the one that went to Think Tech. And then there was the SBA Special Award for Lifetime Legacy, the Small Business Person of the Year, the SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year, the SBA Family Owned Business of the Year, the Small Business Advocate for Business and Industry. From Maui, we had the Small Business Person of the Year, the SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year. From Kauai, we had the Small Business Person of the Year, the SBA Family Owned Business of the Year, the award went to Edward Kawamura of M. Kawamura Farm Enterprises. We're going to film him in Kauai next week. From Hawaii Island, we had the Small Business Person of the Year, the SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year, the SBA Family Owned Business of the Year, the Small Business Advocate Financial Services, the Small Business Advocate for Innovation, the Small Business Advocate for Business and Industry. Of course, we filmed the presentation of all these awards, and here is the footage we took. Now, of course, anyone who works with small businesses, they know how difficult it is to put an enterprise on the path to success and really keep that trajectory for the long term. Many entrepreneurs would, of course, not be able to thrive without all of the commitment, the resources, providers, and advocates who share their ideal of a free enterprise and the American dream. For the County of Hawaii, a big congratulations to the Small Business Advocate for Financial Services, Jacob Burrell. The Small Business Advocate for Innovation for the County of Hawaii is Jim Wyden, founder of High Plan. Our winners, Omar and Tarek Sultan of Sultan Ventures, Accelerate UH and Accelerate Hawaii. The advocate for minority small business for the state of Hawaii has long been guiding small disadvantaged business owners to resources and tools to increase their share of government contracting work and strengthen their likelihood of success. A big congratulations to Melanie Martin, the 2019 State of Hawaii Small Business Advocate for Veteran Small Business Ownership, readily shares her experience as a small business owner with those following in her footsteps. A big congratulations to Noella Napoleon. Business Consultant and Trainer with Pepsi and Team Mace Center for Business and Leadership at the YWCA. Well, the Small Business Advocate for Women in Business for the State of Hawaii has been working to advance the status of women for more than two decades. Let's give a big mahalo for that service to Leslie Wilkins. Hawaii Small Business Advocates for Business and Industry honors those individuals who work tirelessly to inform and connect small business owners and entrepreneurs with the tools that they need to succeed. <coughs> For the city and county of Honolulu, a big congratulations to Kieran Polk, Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce of Kapolei, the business and industry advocate for the county of Hawaii. Well, actually, he's on a family reunion. That's for Miles Yo Yoshioka. He had a big family reunion, so not currently on island. He's the director for the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce. Now, he is an incredible advocate assisting in small business with what he does daily at the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce. The small business advocate for business and industry for the state of Hawaii. And got 
for our small business community for more than 30 years. Today, we recognize that dedication with the 2019 award for Mary Bashir of Mary Bashir Realty on the island of Hawaii. The Makana Ho'oko no Ke Ola Special SBA Award honors a lifetime legacy of support for small businesses and free enterprise. The 2019 honoree is Naomi Masuno. The Small Business Advocate for Media and Journalism Award is presented to an individual who works to improve awareness of the critical issues that impact small businesses and highlights the contributions that they bring to the community. A big congratulations to Jay Fidel, who's the founder and CEO of Big Business Exporter of the Year for the State of Hawaii offers a unique product that's a favorite of many travelers from the East. Part of its cachet is that this beverage is only produced by two companies in the entire U.S. Please help me welcome the Exporter of the Year, Hawaiian Sochu Company of Haleiwa. SBA's family-owned Small Business of the Year awards honor a business that's been owned and operated by a family for at least 15 years. Now in Hawaii, there's a long tradition of successful family-owned companies, and we ask this year to many of those award winners. For the city and county of Honolulu, join me in congratulating the family of dentists that comprise the Kamaaina Dental Associates, doing business as Dr. K.B. Chun and Sons in Kailua. Representing the county of Hawaii in the family-owned business category is Rannix Auto Specialist from East Hawaii. The SBA family-owned small business for County of Kauai is a well-known landmark for Kauai's rural communities. The year 2019 will mark 60 years of operation. Edward Kawamura manages the daily operations with the help of his two sons. My guess is that if you've ever owned a car here on Oahu, you know that the 2019 family-owned small business of the year for the state of Hawaii. And of course, someone very well-known. Let's congratulate Craig and Max Yoshikawa of SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year honors individuals who have demonstrated strong business and entrepreneurial skills by the successful operation of a small business for at least three years before reaching the age of 35. The Young Entrepreneur Award for the City and County of Honolulu goes to an enthusiastic team of high school pals who turned a fanciful idea to a reality when they started Banan. Congratulations to Zach Berry, Matthew Hall, and from Waikoloa, we outed R. Pacheco III, the owner of AP Construction and Young Entrepreneur of the Year for the County of Hawaii. The SCA Young Entrepreneur of the Year of County of Maui started his company in 2010 as a one-person operation. 
today, this entrepreneur has almost 50 employees and contracts on three islands. Let's celebrate this achievement with Ray Michaels, owner of Maui Plumbing. Please welcome the state of Hawaii SBA Young Entrepreneur of the Year, Crystal Newick. The Entrepreneurial Success Award for the state of Hawaii honors individuals who own and operate a business that started out by SBA size standards and with the assistance of SBA programs has grown into a larger business no longer eligible for our SBA assistance. A big congratulations to Ross and Anna Scott, the Small Business Person of the Year for the City and County of Honolulu. A big congratulations to Tracy Lockett. For joining us today from the slopes of Honolulu, we congratulate Delvin Both Bata, owner of Volcano Winery, for his selection as the Small Business Person of the Year for the County of Hawaii. for the county of Kauai, Tom and Christine French of Greenwich Beach Broiler. The Small Business Person of the Year for the County of Maui is a standout in a busy and very competitive business. A big congratulations to Angela Leone, owner of Coconut Condo. Our final award of the day is the 2019 SBA Small Business Person of the Year Award for the State of Hawaii. And today, that goes to a very dynamic duo whose commitment to excellence in knowledge, sales, and service has allowed them to compete with much larger corporations. Sound leadership and management from Klein and Bonsong have provided a competitive advantage to differentiate Hawaii energy systems from other electrical and mechanical contracting firms. There were five Hawaii Business Editors Choice Awards. The Long-Term Success Award, the Green Business Award, the Innovative Business Award, the Women-Owned Business Award, the Best New Business Award. These Editor's Choice Awards honor five great local companies that everyone in Hawaii should know about because they represent some of the very best characteristics of achievement, longevity, sustainability, innovation, and diversity. Our first award is for long-term success, and the winners are Il Man and Sam Soon Chung, the retired founders and owners of Koa Pancake House and Koa Cafe, and their son, Ju Chung, who is now the president. Best Green Business, and that goes to Pono Home and to founder and CEO, Scott Cooney. Next up, the Editor's Choice Award for Most Innovative Company goes to Nalu Scientific and its founder and CEO, Isar Mustafaneja. Best New Business, and the winner is the restaurant Pork and Salad Maui, and its co-owners, Travis Morin, Jeremy Blosser, and Cody Christopher. Next up, we have the Editor's Choice Award for Best Women-Owned Company, and that goes to Mana Up, its co-owners, Millie James, and Brittany Howard. And three cohorts were inaugurated into the Hawaii Small Business Hall of Fame. They were Han Lam of Latour Bakehouse, Kent and Lori Utterman of Pictures Plus, Tim Moore, Mike Moore, and Robert Aguiar of Old Lahaina Luau. And the very first member of the inaugural cohort of the Hawaii Small Business Hall of Fame is Tan Long. Tan Long is a true American success story. He came to the U.S. as an immigrant from Vietnam. He opened Bali Sandwich in 1984 and has since grown an island empire. Kent and Lori Unterman, founders of the Art Source Inc., which has several divisions, including Pictures Plus. These days, the art source has fine galleries, custom cabinet manufacturing, and storage systems, and even stepped into shoes, licensing Sanu footwear, and opening island soul slipper stores. Our third group of honorees are a trio of entrepreneurs from Maui. We have Tim Moore, Mike Moore, and Robert Aguiar, the founders of Koko Aloha, not Eha Limited, whose business includes Koloha Culinary Center, the Olohaina Luau, Aloha Mixed Plate, Star Noodles, Leota's Kitchen, and Pie Shop, and Koaloha Farms. All right, wow, you guys, that makes 34 honorees today. Truly the best of small business in Hawaii. A big congratulations to all of our winners in every part of the program. Let's give everyone another round of applause. As we always do, we also walk the floor to talk to the people who were there to get their views on the program and its implications for the community. We are really looking at a growing number of businesses who uh, qualify for this award. They are growing, they're creating jobs, 
They are innovative, and it's really exciting to be here. Brittany Hyde and I uh, have a women-owned business of the year. Really thrilled with um, all the great things that we've been able to accomplish since we started Mana Up two years ago. Well, I think it's fantastic, and I'm here to win an award from the SBA as a small business advocate in innovation from the Big Island, and it's because of my uh, nonprofit High Plan. Yeah, this is amazing. I mean, uh, it's really all my parents that deserves this award. So we won the Long-Term Success Award, so it's really my parents, because they've been doing it for so long. I've only come in only in the last five years to run the business, so it's really just them. We've been working a long time, but you know, finally now my son took over, so we have enough time for relax and you know, laser for our, our rest of the life. This is a business that goes back to 1954 when our father started the business so under KB Chun. Well, this shindig is going great because everybody here is really good looking. And they got flowers on them and they're having a good time and their families are here. We won the Old Timers Award. So if you stay in business long enough and then there's nobody left, you win the award we won. Certainly, yeah, we have like a farm to table philosophy and uh, started in a food truck just us three and one other, and uh, now we're about to build out our fifth location. 95% of it is kind of a challenge, uh, especially when you go into business with your two best friends, you know, most of the time it sucks, you know. Yeah, seriously, just kind of seeing these guys face every single day, but yeah, you find the joy in it. Thank the people that come there and uh, support us, you know. I think it's very important. Most also, I do a lot of veteran work, and supporting uh, you know, uh, veterans and getting their benefits. I'm a Vietnam veteran there, and I believe that you know it's, it's time. It's past 50 years, and now uh, helping veterans. What's happening in Washington? Well, it's the big uh, National Business Week. Um, all the winners from across the, the nation is going to show up, including Puerto Rico and Guam. I think the Virgin Islands. I'm not sure if uh, American Samoa is going to be out there. But yeah, we're representing Hawaii. It's the we, not the me, exactly. I mean, that's that, that makes good business sense. It's not all about us. You know, we're, we're providing uh, jobs. We're getting rid of the small stuff that shouldn't be worried about, like healthcare for employees. So. We, I'm just so proud that I could I could do that for all my guys. It's great, great for business, great for business in Hawaii. So keep up the good work, Jay. Same to you. Uh, congratulations to Jay. He truly deserves it. Good job. Uh, good health to you. See a company that's been around for 50 years, and like McKinley Car Wash doing so well and getting honored and recognized, and then to watch those guys go off to DC tonight. Pretty exciting. Juno's a friend of mine through EO Hawaii, and his family was recognized for Koa Pancake House, and they were one of the first ones announced as an immigrant family. This was great, fantastic. I mean, the, the program was really well put together, and they did a really good job of introducing everybody, giving a little paragraph spiel. So uh, I heard mine, which was really kind of nice and accurate, and I heard others, which was really nice. So now I can put a picture next to uh, the, the type of work that they're doing. So really exciting, yeah. So if you want to see what happened last year in Hawaii, I think this is a, just read the program. We started in Maui in uh, uh, 1979. Came from Alaska and went into the boat business. Um, and then uh, I think I told you the story. My oldest son started college and I said, we got to have a second job. So that's when we started Sunshine Helicopters. This was so much fun. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity to be able to be around so many great entrepreneurs and business owners and just to be able to honor them, right? Because they, a lot of them give back to the community in such big ways. So it's a really cool thing to be able to recognize them and to be able to give them awards. I'm not the one giving it. I was just reading the scripts, right? And I was just the one welcoming them to the stage, but just so great to be able to be a part of this opportunity. It was a wonderful experience. A great group of people, excellent uh, uh, businesses and advocates uh, to do great service to the state of Hawaii. We just have a, a strong group of committed individuals that uh, are all working to better the community and uh, uh, people's lives in general. I think it's awesome. What we need to do as a community is celebrate all of these victories big and small and today was a, was a great one Yeah, for all of us. And congratulations to you. I learned that the future is bright. I learned that there's a lot of great stuff happening across all the islands and we as a community need to rally behind it and continue to support it so that we can continue growing our ecosystem. This is basically a shochu mai tai. It has a variety of um, fruit juices and the shochu, which is made out of sweet potato and rice. 
Yeah, my husband won the Young Entrepreneur of the Year, so pretty exciting. My son is over there. He's uh, representing Alvin Bongolan. Oh, representing. Uh, next to him. Are you going to go to Washington with him? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not invited. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you so oh, thank much. You. Thank you. We're proud of my son. So they're all baked here fresh daily every day and they're all hand dipped. So that's what we brought here today for First Wine Bank. So she's showing you how to hand dip it. That's exactly how they do it in our factory. As you can see, a few important things were obvious. First, entrepreneurship is alive and well in Hawaii. Second, there are many startups being organized by many exuberant, charming, and very promising entrepreneurs, young and old. Third, it's wonderful to see many local family and multi-generational businesses thriving in Hawaii. And finally, it's thrilling to see the SBA, Hawaii Business Magazine, and so many banks and well-wishers vigorously supporting and encouraging the development of small businesses in Hawaii. Want to know more about the SBA? Check out the Honolulu section on sba.gov. Want to know more about Hawaii Business Magazine? Check out hawaiibusiness.com. Who knows? Maybe you can be an entrepreneur and start up a business. And who knows? Maybe you can win an SBA or Editor's Choice Award next year. After all, we need all the entrepreneurs and small businesses we can get. In so many ways, they represent the future of our state. And now, let's check out our ThinkTech schedule of events going forward. ThinkTech broadcasts its talk shows live on the internet from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. Then we broadcast our earlier shows all night long and on the weekends. And some people listen to them all night long and on the weekends. If you miss the show or if you want to replay or share any of our shows, they're all archived on demand on ThinkTechHawaii.com and YouTube. Go to thinktechhawaii.com slash audio and we post all of our shows as podcasts on iTunes. 
Visit ThinkTechHawaii.com for our weekly calendar and live stream and YouTube links, or better yet, sign up on our email list and get our daily email advisories. ThinkTech has a high-tech green screen studio at Pioneer Plaza. If you want to see it or be a part of our live audience, or if you want to participate in our shows, contact shows at ThinkTechHawaii.com. If you want to post a question or make a comment during the show, call 808 2014 and help us raise public awareness on Think Tech. Go ahead, give us a thumbs up on YouTube or send us a tweet at Think Tech HI. We'd like to know how you feel about the issues and events that affect our lives in these islands and in this country. We want to stay in touch with you and we'd like you to stay in touch with us. Let's think together. We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of Think Tech. But first, we want to thank our underwriters. Okay, Anna, that wraps up this week's edition of ThinkTech. Remember, you can watch ThinkTech and Spectrum OC16 several times every week. Can't get enough of it, just like Anna does. For additional times, check out OC16.tv. For lots more ThinkTech videos and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on ThinkTech, visit ThinkTechHawaii.com. Be a guest or a host, a producer or an intern, and help us reach and have an impact on Hawaii. Thanks so much for being a part of our ThinkTech family and for supporting our open discussion of tech, energy, diversification, and global awareness in Hawaii. And of course, the ongoing search for innovation wherever we can find it. Thanks so much to the SBA and Hawaii Business Magazine for giving us this important community award. In any event, you can watch this show throughout the week and tune in next Sunday evening for our next important weekly episode. I'm Emmy Anderson. And I'm Anna Jimenez-McMillan. Aloha, everyone.